I'm like this, eh? <laughs> the Yoruba leader don't follow out now, uh, our friend in federal group now. They don't follow out to say, for this election, they come so say all, all of them now they don't stand with Peter Obi. Say, make all the Yoruba people say, me they stand with Peter Obi. On to say, man, he gives some reason, scientific way. I like people now hear with our own ear, we're not hearing about ourselves, eh? because this man he took up things of wisdom. We don't declare now, say, say, this election will cause not be, not be based on tribalism or anything. I like you want to listen to this wise man, you want to hear everything. Talk. And as they watch him, we're going to make sure they share him so everybody will see him, they they know when they suffer the country. But yeah, now. Watch the video. All those who are talking about the politics of Nigeria today about to be, they meet us in the struggle. I am in the position to know everybody from bottom to the end, including Tinubu, who I have the privilege of making him the, being the chairman of the party when he became the governor on the basis of social in Nigeria. And I know that I think very well. I think the case is very simple. Did not have no right to come back again after eight years. Simple. Just as I am opposed to Tinubu, not for above many reasons, it is not the right of the Southwest now to come and claim presidency. If you want peace in Nigeria, if you want equity, if you want justice, if you want to be united, we are talking of rotation, we are talking of final character. It has gone to the north, now to the south. Should you come to the south with the region that has had it, with Obama John with eight years? Yemen Shiba Joe with eight years as vice president? South South has had it with Jonathan? The South is not part of Nigeria. To do that, that equity. You see, the stand of affair is purely on principle. I am not in no, no, no animosity against Tinubu or anybody. If I'm going to be parochial, but from Tinubu, say, you're a bad man. I, I take pride that because I made him the governor, he became the president, fine. But right is right. And mind you, I want to tell the populace of Nigeria, until you do the politics of principle of issue, of equity, inclusiveness, you will never get anywhere in Nigeria. The problem with the two parties today because they have no principle, no ideology. There is nothing with you they stand by. They say one thing in the morning, they change in the afternoon. That is why people say those of us in Africa are an action group. We are stubborn. We are stubborn on principle. You don't bend principle to, for convenience. When it's convenient for you, it's rotation. When it is not convenient for you, it's your marriage. We knew about Mary before we put the federal character in the Constitution in 1960. Those of us who knew the beginning of Nigeria, those who came in uh, midway, who don't, who don't know what, 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 what went before what, they are now talking of Mary. There is no time on that, that the program that is to go on that. Principle is the matter. Don't talk of personality. I have nothing against you, Nubu. All right, well, thank you for that. But on principle, uh, on equity, what credential has the APC got to come back to Nigeria again to, to, to say that you vote for them? When the election campaign comes, you will see. It's only on a, on a country like, like this that the APC will have the F1 tree to come and ask the electorate of Nigeria to come and vote for them after eight years of disaster. On what record? For the, for the security they have given us? For the improvement of our infrastructure? For the improvement of our economy? On what measure of government can they say they have a claim to be elected? The case of APC is, 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 is mountainous for rejection. They have no, no cause to show their face at all. They are a complete failure. And this country will be, will, will, be, will be unwise after I want them not to vote for Tinubu to go again for another uh, uh, um, for Buari, to go for another Buari party. What have they done to recommend them? You people, you have, you have to ask you too. Is, is this your banana that has improved? Can you travel on your road? Can you sleep with your eyes, two eyes closed? 
the, the security situation is worsening day by day. And you see, forget the APC. And I'm sure the legend of Nigeria are intelligent enough. They, they can see where, where the, the shoe is pitching them. How can, any, how, how, how can the market woman vote for the APC again if they are sensible, if they are not going to depend on Naira and dollar? How much did they buy a bag of rice in 2015? How much are they buying it now? How much does it cost them to travel from here to Ibadan before? How much is it now? How much are they buying petrol in 2015? How much is it now? These are just the places on which you are going to join these parties. And as for PDP, I have told you that the candidate of PDP is not SATA. It's not the equity. We are talking of equality in this country. We are talking of um, inclusiveness. What, what is the argument against South East to become this president when the South West has had their share? The South South has had their share. The South is not part of Nigeria. They don't, we are, this is a matter of principle. Don't, don't, let, don't be in sentiment. And my people from the Yoruba, I will tell them, tell you, when it is your right, I don't support when, it's, when you have no right to it. I am, a, I am one of those who, who sought for the independence of this country on the basis of equity, on the basis of inclusiveness, on the basis of progress, on the basis of peace. Anything that will cause the ceremony, I am against it. Those who are talking now are just talking of uh, policies of uh, convenience, policies of the uh, uh, dollar and naira. I'm not for that. I'm too old enough in this country, until I go to my grave, to be, be preaching the ceremony. Any supporter of non uh, Igbo extraction to be president of Nigeria now, it is their, it's not their privilege, it's a constitutional right. If you want peace and quiet in this country. That's why we are making a statement to Obi. Obi is only the flag bearer of the people who are, who are fed up with the Buhari and the APC administration. And then those of us who are lining behind him, is behind him to lead us to the goal we want in this country. He has the integrity, the, the education, the character, the antecedents. To do all these things, and mind you, is in a position to implement what um, uh, we command allow me, the report he gave to Bwari, which I refused to reach. He has given the name of those who are troubling us in this country, who are those who are behind uh, Boko Haram. Since 2018, he pretends as if he don't, don't know them. He said those who are behind us, those who are disturbing our security, they are in his cabinet, they are in parliament, they are in senate, they are in Nassau Rock. He said it on, on, your, on your program. You people, you, 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 you pretend as if that doesn't happen. Presidency has not reacted to it. They have not denied that it's not correct. They have not denied why. And if Malami came out and told us, he has 200 names of those who are behind Boko Haram. Has he published them till today? And when even El Rufai said the, 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 the tragedy of trade between Kaduna and Ugali ought not to have happened. Because the security people know where these people are and they have discussion with them. They have not shut him up, they have not reacted. Mm. So the, the problem is an auto came out and accused the president of the country of collusion with those who have uh, who are who, who are giving us insecurity in the country. No reaction. What a country. What a pity. But for the fact that I have children and grandchildren, what should give up for Nigeria? 
I'm only sorry for people like you who are interviewing me. It's, it's your affair. Not my affair. I'm a candidate for the grave. But I must talk for the eternity. For you to know that those who are, who are, who are ruling you are the instrument of your oppression. 